you know, for purposes I am recording. Boom. of what you ride, put something back in, organise a event, call out a ride, mentor someone, an older rider or a younger rider, um, you know, track maintenance, trail love, just just kind of keep keep putting in, don't just spend your days shopping for parts online. <laughs> Notwithstanding. <laughs> yeah, so welcome again, have an awesome ride, make new friends. Yo man, Hi, man. good to see you. Bye. Bye. Nice bike, man. <laughs> Truck up. Slow down, you mean up. Yeah, for real, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being in traffic, you gotta watch six cars ahead. Yeah, it's gotta be like that concrete truck. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Slippery. Oh yeah. We'll pick that one up later on the way back, eh? Yeah. I Yeah, I got a flat tire now. Whoa, right on the arm. All right, here we go. So slippery. I love it though. A couple of good drops. If you've never ridden this, then definitely give it to me, babe. Yeah. Go, Maggie. Go, Maggie. Go, man. In you go. Yeah, lead, lead the way, Harry. I got the I got the GoPro on, mate. Oh, okay. Yeah, go. Get in there. Don't ride too fast, so I can keep up with you. Oh shit. Really a bit of a jank. Oh, there he is. Hey. Mad dog. Oh, he cut in, mate. Sorry. I got the GoPro running, mate. That was for Harry. Woo. Oh, they've left me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Small pace. I have no idea where I'm going, just hucking off drops. Man. <laughs> it's so good. Yes, you are, don't lie. <laughs> It's tied up. Whoa. Maybe for a bit. Oh. I'm on your tower, Tom. Hold it together, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Ой. I remember this track the last time. It's sick. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Whoa! There goes my derailleur. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what's up, Hank? Well, that was hectic. What's that called? I don't know. <laughs> Loose. <laughs> Is this the log? Not operational anymore. <laughs> right. Change your gears. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> This one? Yeah. Okay. Hey, man. Write it down! Write it down! Oh! Fuck! It's been so long since something like this has happened, everyone's like, yeah! Write it down! Alright, that's three, done. We should all be right now, we should all be safe, that was three. Now we can send everything. Send everything, you'll be fine. Straight into the rock. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to crack on back up, back along Parallel Universe and unfortunately up Bertha, which is a pretty savage climb. No shame in walking Bertha. If you want to do your high intensity, you know, then boost up it. Hey, came up. How are you? Thank you. Pretty colourful. Can't be missed. Yeah, good. You? That's good. You. Fuck. Oh. Oh, he's off pissed. Oh. What's going on? Traffic jam. His lights always suck. Yeah, I know. Peak hour. <laughs> right. Oh, no. You. Regroup. As far as it got? Yeah, I guess just back to the hub. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Here you go, under the telegraph pole. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa, inside line, mate. Whoa. Oh, he could have rubbed that. Oh, hey, what's that? Where's that go? Up and over? Oh, yeah, down there. Oh, I gotta look up. Woohoo! Look, sneaky lines everywhere. Oh. Wait. <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> Oh. What? <laughs> oh man. Proper dust cloud back here. These are the shoots, I think. I think I crashed here last time. Whoa. Whoa. Going. Oh, on the edge. Oh, that was cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. How big? Uh, oh. Straight down. It's steady braking. Rock roll. Yeah, okay. Ah, there's plenty of grip, man. Far out. <laughs> Gotta go wide there. You good? Yeah, I just went inside. I was like, where am I going? <laughs> what a challenge that was.
Oh, that was fun. Oh, what happened, Matt? Good. Uh, I had a crash after the rock roll. Oh, really? Like, uh, uh, hey, bro. Good to see you, man. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, everything. You reckon? Oh, need an e bike? Oh, I'm not going to do it though. Absolutely firing. So many bikes. Oh, inside. Oh, no. Oh, oh he's got him. I thought I had the whole shot. Where you boys are going, but you had the right speed. <laughs> whoa, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> Man, I didn't see that coming up. <laughs> Damn. Oh, which one? Which way? No, no. I gotta look up, man. I didn't know where I was going. Ah, it's entirely up to you, mate. You look amazing regardless. So yeah, man, I just typed, I'm going to put a YouTube video together. Yeah, nice. And it's just going to be the day, obviously. But yeah, yeah. What, I, what I would like this piece to be is, is you telling us, I guess, what happens in the microcosm yep. of Budai. Yeah, yeah. You know, and go into your thoughts about M2B on the, on the general scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, you know, I have many conversations with people like yourself. I've had convos with Prendo, Taris, all these guys from these different areas. The common theme I find is we all actually talk about the same thing. Okay. Right? But every other area has its own little nuance. Yeah, yeah. But on the general scope of things about how mountain biking is provided or isn't provided for is roughly the same comment. Yeah. Right? It's just the councils don't see us, national parks don't recognize us. Yeah. When in fact, we're their best ally yep. for the type of activity we're doing in what is the best landscape in the world, really, yeah, yeah. to be honest yeah. with you. So, so yeah, man, like just, just wax lyrical because I know you're good with words, but yeah, so I think for me, it's I guess there's the appreciation of the land and the country, and you know, it almost is 
that sort of privilege of it is a national park. We know, know it comes with certain kind of controls and responsibilities, but it does make an incredible, incredible uh, sort of canvas for riding. Um, and I guess we've sort of, you know, we've over probably, I mean, 10 years, you know, there's some people who've been riding here for probably 20, 25 years. We've just tried to responsibly sort of just extend the network, you know, make sure there's stuff that's accessible for people who are maybe, you know, getting out sort of off the fire trails for the first time. But then I guess a lot of us get quite excited just by the really creative sort of steep technical, technical riding. And that kind of, you know, that's kept us you know, the coast sometimes is not, you know, it's not like a big city. It doesn't, doesn't have all the social ecosystems and communities, but we've managed to kind of mountain biking on the coast has been a really nice sort of sweet spot um, to get a lot of, you know, quite diverse people together, you know, kids, the elderly, you know, sort of women, there's plenty, it just feels like a big shift. And today is sort of, you know, bringing that to this point where we say, right, you know, blow the doors off, let's have a big, big social ride, really celebrate sort of community and kind of, you know, there's a bit of a showcase of the trails, but, you know, broadly that area of just, you know, the landscape and we're blessed with you know, quite an amazing sort of sunny, sunny riding day today. You know, I think uh, trying to get everyone not to be completely out of their comfort zone, but certainly push them, you know, we call it the beast. Maybe in the early days, that was sort of a real bit of a hard ass kind of thing, but it's sort of just, it's almost become a sort of just a slogan for a nice solid hard ride some with old friends with new friends you're going to be challenged you know you can celebrate and, and feel proud of yourself and you'll be you know a bit sore and you've earned those the beers and food and you know we end i guess it's been really awesome to be able to end at Hardy's bay club they're not a tab sort of gaming pub so which i think has been challenged for them but they do really appreciate you know any sort of community activities and events that's mountain biking and i think yep. this is what the biggest thing Thing that councils, state, federal government miss yep. is that this sport is a legitimate sport that is yep. doing nothing other than growing yep. and that it's you know, for local communities, small towns, yep. it's a bit of a cash cow. Yep. So you, you hold 100 here this weekend, yep. let's say 60% of them have heard about it but have never ridden it. Yep. Yep. And you know what they're doing? Next year they're planning their trip yep. back up to the Buddha to ride again. Yeah, yeah. So these guys get more food and beverage money. I guess overnight accommodation and sort of weekend stays, that's kind of where you know, we see it getting to, but again, there's this sort of dilemma. Well, if none of it's formalized, you know, people can't over promote that, hey, we've got bikers retreats or bikers mm. coaching or bikers adventure. So on that, I, I have this, I'm beginning to develop an issue with the terminology illegal mountain bike tracks. Because, sure. yeah. you know, even speaking to Prendo, who has a, has a, a background, yeah. he was telling me, even if you're caught digging, it's not illegal. And so there's this really grey area. And for us as coaches, that's also a bit of a problem because how are we meant to grow our businesses if we don't have trails to coach on? That, that's yeah. that's one of the hardest yeah. part. Yeah. So I really think the, the terminology illegal trail building needs to cease to exist. It should be unsanctioned. Trails yeah. should be, they're just yeah, known I, as I unsanctioned. I don't recognise, you know, and I'll challenge anyone on, you know, an assertion of illegality. I mean, trails, they have to be thought, there's some intelligence design and that has to go into good trails and there's terrible trails out there and amazing trails out there and there's a, obviously the growth of a lot of those official you know trail building companies synergy world trail dirt Art, they're all doing amazing they're, look, profession, look, they're professionalizing it look what's um, happened from the from the fact that we had to dig trails ourselves yeah. it's it's born an industry where now companies are pushing the global scene with the yeah. terms of the technology they put into creating trails yeah. i mean i wouldn't have become a coach if i didn't have the availability of a legal trail network to coach on but also that's uh when you start looking at the fact that there's you know behind the hundred here there's another two three thousand out there that are yeah. coming into the sport yeah, on a daily basis greatest in it's just down the road like you know where as the crow flies we're 50 kilometers from cbd it's nuts man and it's almost like terrifying like the potential as i said we ran today as a sort of a private we don't strictly call it an event yep. because of you know that brings certain you know, challenges and insurances and that sort of we kind of rely on almost like a bit of old-fashioned self-responsibility self-care just sort of the good vibes really i think there's been a massive ins upsweep of people riding and that's because of covid yeah. i also feel that there's been a massive influx of people who maybe don't understand the history behind that yeah. so i kind of see a lot of issues arising that we used to deal with 10 12 years ago 15 yeah. years ago yeah. right now and the hardest thing i think is for councils to understand was that there's a critical mass now but the biggest thing for us to do as clubs and and, and communities is to like have these 
platforms to be able to educate and just notify like, oh, hey, all this is unsanctioned. You just rode 30 k's of the most amazing trails in the, on, in the Budai National Park. But guess what? None of it's legal, right? None of it's quote unquote made by or provided by the establishment or whatever it may be. It's all it's all produced by dedicated local community riders. And there's the essence of mountain bike. And I think what a lot of councils and national parks should recognise is that we're actually partners, Future Forward, for that. They don't have to spend big money to build the network. It's already here. Just come through and rubber stamp it for us. Yeah. And we'll look after it after That's that. The, so we, you know, we have, I guess, you know, the past year or two, that, that's been our sort of the story, the strategy with Central Coast Council. It's sort of not to look for some, you know, like, you know, high-profile monorail type investment, like put a bike park here. We're like, no, no, you've got all this amazing network. It's accessible to people from their homes or where they live, you know, from Avoca, Hardy's Bay, where we are now, you minor, Edelong, up to Gosford. It's all there. It just needs a sprinkling of kind of, you know, formalisation and investment. We probably need a, you know, kind of a cycling and, you know, active lifestyles officer at council, but they've all been sat. Yeah, I really think it's a really exciting, exciting future. I agree, man. It should be part of the, you know, the very much, you know, on, on all levels. So I agree. You know, you, you've been you've been riding just as long as I have. What I've seen in the past two to three years versus what I didn't see in the past, you know, 12 before that, it's phenomenal. Like, I mean, you know, down my way, you got OMV, you got Jubes, you got Bear Creek, you got everything that Garrigal's done, and you've got this level of rider now as a youngster who, by the time they're 15, they're a real proficient rider, and they can yeah. do some stuff that, like, it took us years to do and a lot of grafting and digging in, in places yeah. or doing things that weren't, yeah. quote, unquote, you know, legal, yeah. these kids can like literally finish school and they're doing this sort of activity on a mainstream. Uh, interesting fact, just as a side note, I was involved in a talk and it was Outdoor New South Wales ACT, so it was a lobbyist group, and the topic was mountain biking and how to how do we provide for it. And a few of the guys from Oz Cycling were on. Pre-pandemic, 280,000 on the decline. That was active club members plus bike sales. Yeah. Boom. As soon as COVID happened, within 12 months, they reckon it's yeah. 500,000. Now, you and I could probably reckon there's maybe another 200,000 on top of that. Because yeah. what they're not taking into account is the second-hand bike market yeah. and just how prevalent that's been. But it, like you say, it all comes back to the trails. The trail, you, know, where the, you know, almost like the cycle infrastructure to get to the trails, you know, from those transport hubs and that sort of thing. I mean, it's almost like when I look at Canberra, not only, you know, that yes, they've got amazing mountain bike trails, but they've got beautiful traffic for yeah. cycle paths to get to the mountain bike trails. That's where... You know, I'm like, well, we've got great mountain bike trails, but you've got to flog yeah. yourself on a busy road, yeah. which younger riders or less confident riders are just not going to do. Okay, it's the accessibility yeah. to the trail, it's, right? It's inclusivity, it's accessibility, and that's, that's kind of where we need to get to. 100%. Um, One day in the future, man. In it, oh, I, I guess I did say, and I've made this point in council, we are kind of an irresistible force. It's just a matter of when. Like, yeah, it's the, not the, if. The, yeah. the, the, the momentum is there. Um, there's a lot of energy, positive energy and you know, creativity going into that, this. That's, that's all it is, man, right? There was no one here because of what you guys have done up on the coast here that didn't have a smile on their face for the entire time they were here. <laughs> so, well done, man, because... My pleasure. That's a, that's a, that's a sign of the graft and, and what goes yeah. on in the background. So, appreciate you guys putting on the event. Appreciate you doing all the things you do for the community up here, man. No, uh, it's a pleasure yeah, for me is, to know you. I'll give you another one. A, it is a community, for sure. Dude, yeah, 100%. Just, you just find what you're good at in terms of, well, I can be a sort of a representative, but, you know, there's people who just don't want the line right, but they just want to draft away. So Couldn't agree more, man. Well done, bro. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Well done, man. Thanks, dude.